that's on the high street know where to go for bargains. The same can be said of Czech book holders in the aviation world. The difference is their high street is in Dubai. The international air show, in fact, where things in the bargain bin come with an eight-figure price tag. However, you can pick up some items brand new and at a discount. Take the JF-17. Normal retail value, around $20 million. The joint fighter 17 known as Thunder is the result of a partnership between Pakistan's Air Force and China's aviation company. It's a lightweight, single-engine, close-combat specialist capable of over 2,000 kilometers per hour, and its makers are offering better than Bogov. Three JF-17s will cost the same as one F-16 fighter jet. Considering Iraq recently bought 18 F-16s for $3 billion, can you really afford not to buy one? Just make sure you know where you're going to park it. The JF-17 Thunder. This is the new generation multi-role light combat aircraft. It's co-developed uh, by PAF and uh, CATIC. The aircraft uh, we've seen here today is one of three that's here this week. And uh, go along to the static display where you'll be able to get a good close look at it as well. نعم طائرة متطورة هذه الطائرة ليست طائرة تدريب بل هي فعلا طائرة مقاتلة من إنتاج كما ذكرت باكستاني صيني. I was talking yesterday with Major Hallett about this. There's a little bit of everything in there. If you get up close, you'll see that the inlets are very reminiscent of uh, an F-18, and also the tail looks a little bit like an F-16. And at some angles like that, it definitely looks like an F-18 with that canard-type bleeding wing at the front. The power plant is uh, an Audi 93 turbofan engine. And uh, with military trust on board, you're going to be going about 5,000 kg. But if you like the afterburner, you'll get it just under 9,000. It's uh, an excellent capability for a cost-to-weight ratio. The JF-17 can provide customers with significant benefits that fulfill that ever-increasing demand of the modern air empowerment role, but at a fraction of the cost of some of its Western counterparts. نعم كما ذكر زميلي قبل قليل تتميز هذه الطائرة ب ب بفورم أو شكل يشابه أجزاء معينة من طائرات أخرى فعلى سبيل المثال بدن الطائرة يشابه إلى حد كبير طائرة الاف 16 من من الجانب تشابه تشابه هذه الطائرة طائرة الالاف كيلو متر بدون إضافة خزانات إضافية Another key selling point uh, of this aircraft, not just its affordability, but also its versatility. It uh, can take in a phenomenal amount of uh, armament on board. Uh, everything from anti-shipping uh, uh, missiles, also to air-to-air -air engagements, and obviously air-to-ground as well. Glass cockpit contains that multi-mode pulse Doppler radar. It's obviously got a smart HUD, and uh, you've got three MFDs on board as well. And you can figure as required.
contract. What's happening over at Typhoon? Okay, we, we cannot say much. Uh, you have seen on the newspaper uh, today, the, there are some news around the Eurofighter uh, here in the UAE. We, we only can, can confirm what you have seen on the, on the, on the, on the paper. We have received from the UAE a request for proposal for the Eurofighter. And we are actively working to, to give an answer uh, in a very, very short term. Okay, uh, I understand completely. Obviously, there's people that have to make decisions and they don't want to feel like they're being forced into those decisions. So, the good news uh, from a European point of view, obviously I'm a European, is that you're not out of the race. I mean, you can at least confirm that. This is a question that you should do to should make to the UAE authorities, not to us. Anyway, you are right. It's a good news for the European uh, aerospace industry. I would say also for the for the UAE, uh, for the, all the Gulf region um, industry, aerospace industry, and community. I think because the Eurofighter is a wonderful machine. Probably is the best solution for all the countries around the region because. Uh, in a very hot and humid uh, environment, probably is the best performance is, uh, fighter available on the world. Okay, well, Mark, I appreciate you coming over today. Tell us a little bit about.